This is Audra. I thought I'd show you a quick video of how to add columns if you're using the Google Sheets data tracking system and how to update the graph as you add columns. Super short, super easy to do. Uh, I have an example here that I made for another teacher. So let's do one from scratch. So we're going to call this, um, no, it's during circle time. I mean, this could be anything. Uh, and then you're going to write your IEP goal here, whatever it is, a description for your staff, whatever it is. And then you can start writing your objectives. So say at this point, he only does 30 seconds and that's the only thing we care about. And then we're going to go to one minute. Uh, if I could spell one, <laughs> one minute, two minutes. All right. And so over here, I use the notes just to add staff initials or, you know, that it was feeling sick today. These are just for, just for you to fill out. And then data as you, or the date, as you put in data, you're going to add the date. So say we do 8-30-23, whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. So you're going to add your dates here and then your objectives here. Um, you can either type it in or you can do equals and then click here and it will generate the title from your objectives over here. I like doing that. It just makes it clean and easy. Three minutes and then, oops. And then four minutes. And we'll get to the five and six and I'll show you how to add columns there in a minute. So say we're going to add some data, you just go equals and then you add your data like they did three correct out of five or something like that. Um, equals five out of five, or maybe you determine that that's mastery. We'll talk about that in a minute. Continue to add your dates here. Let's just get some data in here. So hold on just a minute, let me throw, throw some data in. Okay, so now we have some data. So I have this graph right here. It's generated the, the data from this. I'm going to customize this a little bit. I would, I would just type in the date that you started an objective and when it was mastered, because this, if you print this whole thing right here, you'll have those dates there, which is nice. And then let's customize this graph first. So over here on the right, you can see everything, all your customizations you can do. So if you go to the chart title, or you can just double click it, but you can change it to, you know, sits during circle time, whatever you want it to say. Um, you can also add a subtitle. So, you know, this is cute kiddo number one, whatever it is. And then you add a subtitle here. It will generate the dates once you put them in over here. So let's say now you want to add some more data here. Say you have more objectives to add. Obviously we have a five and a six minute here that we want to add. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the last column here. I'm going to insert one column to the right. Let's add two objectives because we're going to do five and six minutes. So I'm going to right click one column to the right. So we have two new objectives here that don't have any data or anything. So I'm going to add the title, add in equals, click on five minutes, equals, click on six minutes. So now I have space for new data. So I'm going to add some data in here so we can look at it. All right, so now I have some data in five and six minutes, but you'll see that it's not in this chart here. So let's double click it. We're going to go to setup. And you can see that the setup is pulling data from C1, that first objective, through G way down below. So through G, but we want H and I to be included here. So all I need to do here is change this G to an I. You see it didn't add it yet, but it does have it here in the series. So we're gonna add the series because we have data in five minutes and in six minutes. So now it's added the data. The only thing it hasn't done is add the cute little dots that I like. Unnecessary, but if you like to add that, I like things to look nice. So if you go to customize, 
you go to series and the point size. Those are all seven points, but you can turn them, change them to anything you want, two points or whatever, none, but I like that. I like the little dots. So now you can see you have all the data that you've put in and you could continue to add additional data here, additional objectives here, add new columns, change the series to add the, the new ones and then add the data points. So the last thing is if you wanted to print this so it's nice and pretty, so you could select all the way down from here, kind of the synopsis here, the objectives where you'd have your dates initialized from that raw data and include this chart. And if you go, if you select that area and then you go file print, file print, and then go current selected, sorry, go to selected cells, You'll see it automatically is set up for a nice little chart that shows the progress that has everything there. So just to recap, if you want to add additional uh, ad objectives, first, if you want a title, if you want the, to pull the title from the objective, use the formula with the equals to pull it. Then you right click to add columns to add additional objectives. And then you double click on this graph, go to setup and make sure that the date range is correct to include the objectives you just did. And then the last thing is to go to customize series and just make it pretty the way you like it. And then once again, if you select that whole section and go print, Go to selected cells, you'll get the little graph that has everything. So hopefully that helps.